Mr. Bump goes on a trip. Oh dear, Mr. Bump hasn't got off to a very good start. But you see, today isn't just a normal day. Oh. He's going on a trip. Oh. 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 Nice shot. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, well, at least I'm awake now. Oh! A good breakfast is just what I need before setting off. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Yes, I, I'm coming, I'm coming. Fancy that. Mr. Bump has made it over to the door without an accident. Oh! Ah, little Miss Busy. I actually came over to give you a going away present. Dear me, look at all this mess. Are you all right? Oh, not to worry. I'm quite used to it. Look, this is for you. Oh, lovely. A scarf. I knitted it myself. Oh, how kind of you. I wear it on the beach. It will stop me getting sunburned. Thanks ever so much. Um, uh, perhaps you uh, need something cleaned or um, polished in there? No, no, everything's just fine. I really must be going. I have to put a bandage on. Oh, fiddlesticks. My lovely scarf. Oh, 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 oh. Really, it's not my day. I'd better just hurry up or I'll miss the train. Wait for me! Oh, oh, wait for me! Oh! If this bus doesn't come, I'm going to miss my train. I, I know. I could always hitchhike. They can't miss this. Wow! <laughs> That's some thumb. I'm late for my train. Well, come on then. Jump in quickly. Don't dilly dally. Here we go. <laughs> Why won't anyone stop? Hmm. You look uh, familiar, but I, I simply can't remember your uh, uh, name. Oh, yes, you can, Mr. Forgetful. I'm Mr. Bump. Remember? Uh, who, who is this, Mr. Um, you know, uh, Forgetful chap? Well, that's you. Uh, why, of, uh, of course. Uh, what's my thinking um, of? Uh, do me a favour, Mr. Forgetful. Please take me to the station. But of, uh, um, of course. Oh! We're going backwards. So we uh, are. There you go. We've uh, um, arrived. I'm so glad you haven't missed your, uh, you know, um, plane. Plane? What plane? I'm taking a train. Oh, no. Mr. Forgetful has left me at the airport. Oh! 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 Now Mr. Bump is having the best holiday of his life. And he has made lots of new friends.
Mr. Nosy solves a mystery. Mr. Nosy is busy at his favorite pastime, spying on the neighbors. Nothing new today. <laughs> well, well, well. Here's Mr. Stamp coming to pay me a visit. I have something for you, Mr. Nosy. But what's it doing in my bag? Please let go. Oh. These letters are not for you. Here, this is for you. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Nosy. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Oh, wait. What's this? Detective needed to solve mystery. Contact Mr. Worry. Oh, at last, someone needs my help. What are you doing? Don't you need a detective to solve a mystery? Did you read that in the paper? Oh, I'm better than any detective. A member of your family? Why do you want to know that? To help solve the mystery, of course. The mystery isn't here. It's in the garden. Every day my apples disappear. I can't even sleep at night. I think I know where to begin. Oh, oh. No apples on the menu today, Mr. Greedy. <laughs> I wonder where he hides them. Mr. Nosy. Nosiness is a terrible thing. Well, I can't tell you now, but I'm on a special mission for Mr. Worry. His apples are disappearing. Somebody gave them to me this morning. Who? Mustard. Those, those apples are full of hot, hot, hot. M mustard. <laughs> well, no need to tell me who gave you those apples. Someone's going to have some fun. <laughs> me! Mm, I knew it. I knew it. Only little Miss Trouble does things like that. You're under arrest. Oh. Time to give these to Mr. Worry. Are you certain little Miss Trouble won't come and take more of my apples? Don't worry. Mysteries great or small, Nosy solves them all. Heavens, what's happening? Thanks to Mr. Nosy, Mr. Worry got his apples back. So, oh, you've known Little Miss Trouble since play school. <laughs> Maybe she was just trying to get her own back. You're really too nosy, Mr. Nosy. That's what they always say when I learn one of their secrets. <laughs>
No food is no fun for Mr. Greedy. Mr. Greedy doesn't need an alarm clock. His tummy wakes him up in the mornings. Ooh, I'm hungry again. Oh, oh no. I don't believe my eyes. Oh, I'm sure they were full last night. I must have eaten more than I thought. I'd better hurry out and do some shopping. Hello, Mr. Greedy. Oh, hello there, little Miss Greedy. Hello, Mr. Greedy. Oh, hello, Mrs. Crumb. Oh, I'd like a dozen loaves of bread, 15 apple pies and 20 hot cross buns, please. I'm so sorry, Mr. Greedy. We've sold out. You mean all gone? Little Miss Greedy was just here, and she bought <laughs> everything in the shop. Too bad about the bread. Still, I'll buy three dozen eggs from Mrs. Green. I'll make an omelette as big as that. No, bigger! Hello, Mr. Green. Three dozen of your biggest eggs, please. Here you are, Mr. Greedy. Sorry, Mr. Greedy. I don't believe it. It's never been empty before. My tummy's as empty as my wallet. What do you want? Anyway, I've got no money, you know. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, Mr. Mean, but oh, I'm terribly hungry. You wouldn't have a little piece of bread for me, would you? No, Mr. Greedy. I'm keeping the bread I have left over for tomorrow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I must eat. I must eat, and soon. Oh. Please, Mr. Mischief. I haven't eaten a thing all morning. <laughs> Sorry, dear friend. <laughs> mm. Look. Mm. <laughs> that was my last. <laughs> Just look at me. I'm getting thinner by the minute. Good day to you, Mr. Greedy. How are you? Terrible. I haven't eaten once yet this morning. Oh, I've just finished my shopping. Come and have lunch with me. I've cooked you some fish. You like fish, I hope. Oh, like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, as long as I'm eating, I'm a happy man. I'm not oh, that oh, hungry, oh, are oh. you? Oh, oh, no. Help! I'm starving. Oh. <laughs> I need food! What a horrible dream! <laughs> it was then that a very odd thing happened to Mr. Greedy. His dream had been so awful that for the first time in his life he didn't feel hungry. Oh, no! <laughs>
A special friend for little Miss Lucky. Today is Sunday, and little Miss Lucky has invited some friends to spend the day with her. First of all, there's little Miss Bossy, and Mr. Uppity, and finally Mr. Grumble. Hmm, I always get a one. My turn. I don't believe it. That's my fifth one since we began. Dawn, it's your go. Watch this. I'm going to win. Hmm. I'm sick and tired of this game. It's my go. Oh. 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 Six. <laughs> there it is. I've won. You always win, Miss Lucky. That's true. It's no fun playing with someone who's so lucky. We could play something else if you like. I've an idea. Let's play Skittles. Ah, a game of skill. Good idea. I don't like games of skill. Your lucky streak won't help you now, Miss Lucky. That's all right. I'm going first. No, let her go. That way we'll soon be rid of her. Here, Miss Lucky. Missed! <laughs> no! I'm not playing anymore. Huh? Me neither. Skittles, what a stupid game. <laughs> Poor little Miss Lucky. Suddenly she felt very sad. Hello, Miss Lucky. Hello, Mr. Bump. Oh, what's wrong? Nobody wants to play with me anymore because I'm too lucky. Too lucky? Oh, with me, it's just the opposite. I'd play a game with you, little Miss Lucky. Look out! <laughs> oh, how terrible! Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, don't worry, Miss Lucky. I'm used to it. <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Bump? Fine, thank you, Miss Lucky. How do you manage to be so unlucky? I don't know, but I'd be surprised if it's over. <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Bump? I wouldn't expect you to understand, Miss Lucky. Nothing to worry about. With my luck, about now, a flower pot should land on my head. Are you sure? Oh, I'm certain. Well, we shall soon see. Here goes. Yeah. Ah. Now do you understand the meaning of bad luck? That's incredible. So, how about that game of Skittles? to play? Absolutely certain. Careful now. Not too hard. Take your time. <laughs> A winner! Oh, congratulations, Mr. Bump. Well, how about that? <laughs> Little Miss Lucky has finally found a friend who will play with her on Sundays. And she's delighted.
Mr. Daydream talks to the stars. <laughs> it looks like a wonderful day for daydreams, Mr. Daydream. It does. Let's go. Mr. Happy has been reading his favourite book, Tarzan in Wonderland. <laughs> there he goes. Mr. Happy is on his way to Dreamland. Let's see what happens. <laughs> And here's little Miss Tiny. Mr. Skinny, how do you fancy a lollipop? Uh, yes, please. It'll fatten me up. Thank you, Mr. Happy. Just one will do nicely. Why don't you give the other one to Mr. Uppity? He's having to tread on eggs, poor chap. Uh, excuse me, I wonder if I could have the other lollipop to make a soldier. Oh, dear me. Silly, silly me. I forgot to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very worried because Mr. Uppity said thank you. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Worry. He did say thank you. And look how he's been rewarded. <laughs> what, what, what? Mr. Uppity, I'm taking you home in a flying hammock as a reward for saying thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. From now on, I'll always say thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Daydream, and thank you for such a wonderful dream. Did you enjoy your journey? Oh, yes, I had such a good time. All these adventures have made me hungry. Would you like to stay for lunch? Well, I'd love to. After lunch, Mr. Daydream and Mr. Happy decided to go for a walk into town. Thank you, Mr. Happy. That was a delicious lunch. My pleasure, Mr. Daydream. I say, dreams do come true sometimes, don't they? <laughs> Why, of course they do. Do you see what I see? Yes, it's Mr. Skinny. He's sucking a lollipop. <laughs> now that rings a bell. All the same, little Miss Prim, I find it very worrying. Perhaps he is ill. On the contrary, Dr. Pill. At last, I shall be able to invite him round. And you don't find that worrying? What is so worrying, Mr. Worry? Well, you see, I've just met Mr. Uppity at the butcher's, and uh, he had his nose in the air. No, he said thank you. <laughs> I must be dreaming. 